Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I've got Higgins, and we're working on his go to bed. Now, go to bed is a really useful command to have because it allows us to put the dog in a specific place and not worry if they're going to move or not. It's especially useful in scenarios like, say, you're watching a movie or you're cooking in the kitchen and you're able to put the dog on the mat and don't worry if they're going to break without you releasing them. But just like every other command, we have to start small by introducing the mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and toss some food in front of the mat. Higgins! Go to bed. Yes! And the second Higgins' elbows hit the mat, I'm going to say yes and then treat him multiple times to imply that stay. See one more time. Tap on the head. Okay. I'm going to toss some food just to get him reset. Ah, oh, come here you silly goose. Higgins, go to bed. Yes, and you see that I'm not repeating the command at all. I'm just waiting for Higgins to complete the command. One more, tap on the head to release. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> Higgins, go to bed. Yes. One more. Okay, and you see I'm giving my treats in an underhanded fashion just to prevent Higgins from popping up. I'm gonna do that one more time. Hey, boop, boop, boop. Higgins, go to bed. Yes, good boy. Once again, treating multiple times for the last time. Okay. And that was a really nice job from Higgins. I like how fast he's responding to the command. You see he is just dropping down to the mat. Really nice job. And he didn't break whatsoever. This was a really nice practice session with Higgins. He did awesome. Good job, buddy. Good job.